Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn how to install Argo CD, deploy an application, and perform a rollback. This is going to be a quick hands on tutorial. Let's get started. First, let's make sure EKS cluster is ready. For this, I used EKS CTL command line utility and I created EKS cluster. I got two nodes inside EKS cluster. Let's install Argo CD on EKS cluster. I want to create a separate namespace. Inside this namespace, I want to install Argo CD. I will share these commands uh, part of video description. After installing Argo CD, uh, we want to access Argo CD from my web browser. For that, I'm going to edit service created by Argo CD and uh, change the type to load balancer so that you can access Argo CD from our browser. Let's find out service name for Argo CD. kubectl get service namespace is Argo CD. The service name is Argo CD server. kubectl edit service service name. Yeah, I need to specify the namespace. So in this change type to load balancer. Escape, save, close, and quit. Yeah. Let's run kubectl uh, get service command and see the load balancer endpoint. Yeah, this is the load balancer endpoint. It takes few minutes because in the background it launches uh, load balancer in Amazon. Then it will join the nodes by performing health checks. So let's wait for that process to finish. Let's see target instances. They are in service. Let's grab the DNS name of the load balancer. Copy this. Access from the browser. Click on advanced and uh, let's proceed. We are able to access Argo CD web application. Let's log in to this application using default user that is admin. Uh, to get a password, there's a command that gives us the password. Let's run that command from the command prompt. Now, this is a command to fetch admin password. Let's copy this and sign in. We are able to log in to Argo CD. In Argo CD, to deploy an application, we need to create new app. Before that, I want to show you the application that we are going to deploy using Argo CD. I want to deploy this one. So it has two files one deployment this deploys a python application this image is present in my docker hub along with this we are also deploying service its type is load balancer so copy the link of this repository go to argo cd click on new app application name give a name project name uh, keep it uh, default sync policy it provides two options manual automatic see first of all what argo cd does it uses git as a single source of truth whenever this repository has new changes Argo CD picks those changes and 
apply them onto Kubernetes cluster. It has two ways to perform this. One is manual, where we should go and perform sync manually. Other one is automatic. So Argo CD uh, will keep an eye on the repository we are going to configure. Whenever there are changes in that, it picks them automatically and applies those changes onto Kubernetes cluster. Let me keep it automatic. So come down. So specify the source. So it is Git. This is a repository containing uh, our uh, Kubernetes manifest files, deployment and service. So revision, let it be head. So path, the files are present in root itself. Let me make it dot slash, which is the project root. So here cluster URL, it is auto populated. Select this namespace. I want to create this in default namespace. Provide the namespace details. So remaining things we can leave it. Click on create. So create. Um, now because of uh, auto sync, Argo CD connected with GitHub repository, picking those manifest files and performing the syncing stuff. This is the application name. Um, this is the service and the deployment. So deployment has replica set. And we mentioned five replicas for this application. And you see five replicas in the dashboard. Let's check same thing from command line as well. The pods are running in default namespace. And you can notice five pods are running with age 47 seconds. Let me also check the service object get svc yeah pi app service type is load balancer to access pi app service use this load balancer endpoint put it in the browser we got the response to deploy next version of this application, what we should do is change the tag version, not in service, it should be in deployment file. Open that, edit. From v1, I want to make it v2. And remember, v1, v2, these images are already created by me and it's present in my Docker Hub account. Commit changes, commit. The application inside Argo CD uh, is configured with auto sync, right? So after a few seconds, it will find changes in Git repository and it will sync those changes automatically onto Kubernetes cluster. Let me refresh and see. And see there. So there was a change, and now Argo CD picking those changes, deploying them automatically. Let's get pods. Its age is 19 seconds. Nothing but they are just created because initially we deployed v1, then for demonstrating. How to deploy v2 we just deployed it and we see the age 19 seconds so go to the application load bands url and we see the new deployment the last thing is how to roll back we can perform rollback using argo cd command line utility or from the web console click on this application uh, click on history and roll back. The recent deployment is this one, and the previous one is six minutes ago. Let's say I want to roll back to 
the previous one. Click on this icon, roll back. Okay, fine. Click on OK. And it shows out of sync, meaning it's deleting V2 and replacing them with V1. Let's run kubectl get pods. And it seems like these pods are just created. To cross verify that, refresh the page and check. Yeah, it's pointing to its previous version. That's all. Thanks for watching.